So Riley wanted to try a wine tasting, so we thought what better place to do it than at Blue Heron in Tulmook. So today we're gonna be trying some very interesting things. <laughs> and um, well, here is a wine tasting menu number one, but there is a second one also. There's a five for 10 option and there's also a five for 15 option. And so it's kind of interesting to uh, kind of see the different flavors. Now, there's one on here that none of us have seen before. So naturally we have to try it and um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Are you excited, Brandon? I'm very excited. Are you super duper excited? So excited. Look at her pouring. Ooh. They're so pretty. That is a long flight right there. Blue Heron wines. So going from left to right. Mm -hmm. Five of the, this is five for 15, but I'm giving you a six. That's so nice, thank you. So Thanks. starting left to right, Chardonnay, uh -huh. Pinot Gris, uh -huh. Pinot Noir, uh -huh. Sauvignon Blanc, uh -huh. the Riesling, and the Gewurz demeanor on the end. I'm very excited for and the Gewurz. And we'll shake that with you mm -hmm. to taste. So Riley, we have the flight. This was five for 15. Five for 15, but she was super nice and gave us a sixth one. Sweet. Okay, so in here, she made sure to put the interesting one that neither one of us had had ever, ever, ever before in that cup. So that one's going to be interesting in a minute. Shot my guy, to be honest. So uh, let's give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a more sweet wine. It's a very, very, very light wine. It'd be good for summer, I guess. And this is my favorite one, the Pinot Noir. Hey Riley. Yeah. This is one of the weirder things that we've done. It is. At the same time, it's one of the more normal things. Also, yes. So, um, high five. We got this. Yeah, we're gonna start with the Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> but I vote you start with the Pinot Gris and then we'll switch. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. And, um, and cheers. <laughs> Chardonnay time for me. Thank you, Tim. Okay, you get the Pinot Gris. Ooh. Right? Oh, that's really light. Like, Here that's good. Go. Those two were white and a pale yellow diamond. Ooh, sparkly. Oh, it tells you what it pairs with. Yeah, this Ooh. is super handy. We need them to like orchestrate our lives as a whole. Seriously. Tells you what it'll go with, what it's like, what aroma it has. This is wine 101 for newbies. I used to be a big fan of red wines and then so like naturally I lean towards the Pinot Noir. Which is this guy. This little guy, the lone red wine. But um, I'm most excited to try this German style wine. Which is this guy. This wine. But let's move on. I'll do the Pinot Noir and you do the Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh. Another way. Cheers. Cheers. It's going to be a weird day. <laughs> so apparently the one I tried is basically paired with everything I don't eat except for one thing. Goat cheese. That's it. Cheese. 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 Only is fitting here at the uh, cheese place. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's my turn to do this one. The Pinot Noir, and I've got the Sauvignon Blanc. Ooh, yeah, cheers. cheers! This should be delightful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> she's sticking the camera in my face. What do you think? I really do like this one. This one is really good. It feels a little bit more dry though. Yeah? Yeah. She says it feels dry. It feels dry. Drinking a drink. I don't think it's that dry. dry. I, feel I like, like it, that one. I feel like it's more dry in comparison to that one. Yeah. Or 
this one. Yeah. This one is still number one in there. Oh yeah, the Pinot Grige? Yeah, yeah that's I don't still know my favorite. It's weird. There's one cup left, and then there's that guy. And then this guy already did his tasting, so he already knows what we're coming into. So, um, and he gulped down the Gorvorshchen beer. Oh, 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 so that one was super popular. It's quite tasty. Which one else did you like? Um, I think the Riesling and the Pinot Noir were quite good too. Really? Yeah. So the Riesling That's the, is the one that we're about to Riesling, try? And then the Gewürz de blah 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 He likes blah, this blah. one and then that one. Okay, so we both get a good one apparently. Yeah. You want the that I'll one? I'll do this first. I'll take a small sip. Okay, All right. with the fancy cup. With the fancy cup. I have this one. And um, cheers. 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 This one's good. This tastes um, unexpected. Light strawberry. No wonder. Strawberry? I think I can taste it, yeah. Is it gonna be a gulp it down kind of thing? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> or take oh, no. do it in two sips. One to appreciate the taste and then another to follow up with another taste. Okay. So uh, here we go. This is gonna be good. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, that is not. I can definitely taste the, um, it tastes like apple. Almost. Or pears. Pear and cherry. A smooth, rich mouthfeel. So, I really like this one. I agree. I did not finish it so we can go ahead and whip it. I would have to say that I still think that I like this one, but yeah. this one is better than that one. Really? Yeah. I would say my top faves would be the Pinot Gris mm -hmm. and um, of course the Pinot Noir. So I would have to say that I would go with this guy and this one. I mean this was fine. I guess I just I thought it would be sweeter for some reason. So that was fun. That was so much fun. Um. So a bucket list check? Yeah, bucket list check. Yeah, I think that's fitting. Check, check, <laughs> check. You know, sometimes when you travel, you just wanna try something a little bit different. And what better way to do it than with friends? The Blue Heron French Cheese Company offered not only the cheese tour, but also this wonderful winery section. And we really appreciated and enjoyed it. The staff was amazing and they made everything so easy. The flavors offered were robust and delicious. And you really could find a lot of things to pair some of these wines with thanks to their education. I've appreciated this trip today and I hope that you have too. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And sometimes that's just sitting down at a table with friends. Till next time guys, bye.